People Helping People. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 336. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our weekly progress update number 336, September 1st, 2019 edition. One Community is bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and we're building sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today what I want to talk about is people helping people because that's really what it's about. It's about people helping people. And so all the community models, all the hub models, the teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs, everything that we're designing is really a foundation for people helping themselves and helping other people through that process. Our models are designed to be an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and we combine those with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as high school education models, fulfilled living practices, high school economic models, and truer stewardship putting these things together as a foundation for a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And we're designing it all open source and free shared so we can demonstrate it as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own, creating a sustainable civilization and a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. This is what one community is doing, and this is our idea for people helping people, is create a model of selfish philanthropy, selfish humanitarianism, a model that through people helping themselves, they are also helping other people. People helping people by helping themselves, creating a win-win relationship with each other, with our local communities, and with our planet that will ultimately leave, lead to a sustainable planet within my lifetime, within our lifetimes, within the next 30 to 40 years. How is that possible? Well, through people helping people in a model that is self-replicating, we can spread this idea around the world and reach that tipping point of participation so that we can positively and permanently impact the lives of everybody on this planet, creating communities of conscious and conscientious people that are looking for the highest good solution. They're saying, how can we live for the betterment of all of each other and all life on this planet? What is the best way that we can do things and how can we open source and free share that and show that it's beneficial to the people that adopt these ideas as well so the ideas will spread its own. People helping people to create a world that works for all of us within our lifetime. We think this is the most noble venture and adventure that we can commit our lives to and so we are a 100% volunteer, all unpaid nonprofit organization creating that. Everything that you see happening in the background of the video here is what we've been working on for the last nine, going on 10 years now, designing this so that we can build one community as the prototype community and we can work with people around the world as we develop the other six different sustainable village models and there's another one after that that is about industry and develop all of this open source and free share all of this, check all of our work, make sure that everything is correct, produce the, the purchase orders, produce the permitted plans, everything that's needed to replicate everything that you see happening in the background of this video and so much more and open sourcing and free sharing it and working in cooperation and collaboration to build a global cooperative of people working for the highest good of all so that we can create a sustainable planet. Isn't that worth investing our time and energy into? We think it is, and it's the way that we want to live. And we want to invite other people that share our values and our goals to live that way too. And we might want to invite other people who don't share our goals and don't share our values to take what we're creating in open source as open source and free share tools and tutorials and replicate it in a way that meets your values better, hopefully. Maybe a better way than the way that we're doing it. And if you're willing to share that back with what we're with us and and uh, as open source and free share as well, we'll promote other organizations as well. So this is our model for self-replication. This is our model for global transformation, for the highest good of all life on this planet. He, people helping people as they help themselves, as they help their friends, their families, and their local communities, making a difference globally. So with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working on all these different goals covering highest good approaches to housing, energy, food, education, fulfilled living practices, true stewardship, as well as <clears throat> several different other areas, open sourcing and free sharing it all to create a better world for all of us. 
take a look. Here's one week of our all-volunteer team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team finished creating the Murphy Bed and Earthbag Village Dome Home electrical layouts in SketchUp 3D. You can see the finished designs here. The core team also created the initial page setup and social media imagery for the upcoming Most Sustainable Hand Dryers Options page shown here. Brianna Olson, sustainability researcher, also completed her 11th week as a member of the team. This week, she finished research for the most sustainable faucet options by finalizing the rankings of the products and product descriptions for each company. You can see some of this work here. And Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his 64th week developing the Murphy Bed instructions. This week's focus was returning to standardization of the icons, page layouts, parts and labels for the storage and changing area instructions shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, U Chiao Zhang, architectural designer and drafter, completed his 13th week helping update the city center AutoCAD and SketchUp files and designing the rainwater harvesting system. This week, he continued updating the section drawings related to the Living Dome patio slab change and updated the Living Dome restrooms with the new ADA bathroom designs. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, continued with his 17th week working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum certification and City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week, he reduced the cooling unmet hours to acceptable levels and continued to fine tune HVAC system controls and design to reduce energy usage. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, also continued with her 22nd week helping with the Duplical City Center structural details. This week's focus was working on the entryway designs to fix a connection issue by correcting the angles the members make with the dome. Mateo Spahetto, civil engineer, continued with his fourth week helping with the City Center plumbing designs. This week, Mateus updated all the plumbing AutoCAD files so the layers match those of the master file plan. You can see some of this work here. Kimya Azamard, senior plumbing engineer, additionally continued with his third week as a member of the team. Kimya's focus this week was building a new 36-inch by 48-inch title block we're using to create a new template sheet that will be used to build all the city center plumbing sheets and then all the sheets for other disciplines too. Text fields were used on the template sheet, but older versions of AutoCAD do not work with this feature, so we're rebuilding it again using attributes instead. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued developing the behind the scenes content for the open source permaculture design page. This week's focus was adding content and links to the sections covering principles and domains. You can see some of this work here. The core team also used online DIY instructions to design the 3D goat milking stand shown here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, Summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. 
The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team continued editing our business plan and the related pages of the site. This week, we finalized the prioritization document, updated our rental revenue and residency productions and pages, and created tables and spreadsheet updates covering food, energy, and roadways. You can see some of this work here. Emilio Najera, digital marketer, also continued with his 43rd week as part of the marketing team. This week, he researched new ways to improve our campaign performance and created campaigns for dam and lake construction, meeting human needs, open source lighting design, and taxes for community building. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress working towards this goal of open source tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions for sustainable teacher demonstration hubs for people helping people. This is what we're up to. This is what we're doing. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, visit our written blog. If you'd like to see an email, every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Uh, or you can join us through social media. Also, if you'd like to help us out, uh, well, we have our helping page. Visit our helping page. And the easiest way to help us out is to join us through social media. Uh, like this YouTube video, subscribe to our channel, ring that bell so you can get your updates that way if that's your preference. Um, we're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible if you'd like to join us there. We, of course, are on YouTube. We are on Facebook, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, and 15 other, about 15 other social media networks. So wherever you're at, we're probably there too. Uh, join us there. Subscribe to our Facebook fan page or our updates page. Join us on LinkedIn, our LinkedIn group. Uh, we're all the different places. Twitter, of course, we're there as well. Um, come visit us there. Share our information if you'd like to help out in that way. It's a really easy way to do it. If you prefer not to share, uh, like our information. Just click and like a bunch of our posts. Things like that helps us upvote our posts and get things um, noticed more that way. Every little bit makes a difference, including just watching to the end of this video. If you watch the end of this video, that helps our YouTube algorithm, and so that makes a big difference as well. So every little bit makes a difference, and uh, if you've donated to our project, as I've said before, we're a 100% volunteer nonprofit organization, so 100% of donations goes towards forwarding our mission. It does not go to paychecks for me or anybody else on the team. We're all volunteers. So if you donated, even if it's 5 or $10, it really does make a difference. It adds up and helps us cover our expenses, and so thank you for that. Thank you for watching to the end of the video, and uh, till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping up. Thanks.